Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Geminis. Geminis, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also a friendly reminder, I am available for private readings if you are after one. And just a quick note on the day that you are seeing this or that this video is being published, it is my birthday and I should have arrived at my travel destination. I may need a day or two just to get back on track and get back to business as usual, but I certainly should be back to business as usual early this week. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we've got the three of pentacles. Okay, somebody who's very compatible headed your way. Ten of Cups. A lot of you, you may end up marrying this person or this is a really strong soulmate connection. What they like about you, we have the Tower. Okay, they're, you're just going to shock and surprise them. I'm hearing that they're just going to be in awe of you, Gemini, and what you do, what you've done, who you are. And we get really strong Cancer Pisces energy. This is going to be a psychic, intuitive connection. Some of you are going to have prophetic dreams, or maybe they are before you two meet. And I'm seeing with the Two of Swords, you two mirror each other in a lot of ways, Gemini. But I also see that you're not going to see this coming. So with the Three of Pentacles here, I see this is somebody who possibly you work with, right? But I'm not really getting that so much. I mean, it could be somebody in your community, somebody that you see out and about. Maybe you go into their job, they come into yours. But I'm also seeing with this Three of Pentacles that you and this person, you just, you're, you are what each other has been waiting for. You're very, very, very compatible. And we, yeah, I, I'm not surprised. You know, I, I was... When I said very, 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 like three or four times, I saw the three of pentacles in this deck. Wow, you two are extremely compatible. And again, you're not going to see this coming. This could be somebody who's given up hope or faith that they would ever find the one or they would find somebody that, you know, that they're so compatible with. Um, I do feel that this person has recently made some sort of decision to make a life change. So a move or a career shift or something like that. But it feels really, really positive in nature, Gemini. All right. So they could be an Aquarius. And again, I do think maybe they've given up hope or faith on finding the one or finding the right person. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. What else do we need to know here? They could be a Taurus or they have strong Taurus in their chart. They're stable. They enjoy aesthetics and comfort as they're ruled by Venus. They're loyal. They're kind. They can also be a bit stubborn. This person is wealthy. They have a lot to offer. A comfortable lifestyle is indicated and they've worked hard for their success. And they could be a Capricorn. So this person definitely has earth in their chart. Their work and stability are a high priority for them. They are reliable. And we also see Scorpio energy. So they're fiercely protective and loyal. They stand strong in their convictions. This is somebody who's going to be your ride or die here, Gemini. They're showing up as the Ten of Cups. So it seriously doesn't get better than this. I'm seeing you two be, being very happy together. If you want to get married, I'm seeing marriage, building a family, building a legacy together. But it's just stability, security, and commitment. And it's just a very deep love with like your best friend. That's what I'm hearing. So let's see, why do we have the Ten of Cups here? All right, you would be shocked. So this is, I think both of you are going to be, have this tower moment when you two meet. It's going to be powerful. You both are not expecting this. This person could have black hair and they may be taller than average, okay? And they could be curvy or they're going to really like your curves. So you're, I just take that you're going to be very physically attracted to one another. All right, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. How else will my Geminis be able to identify this person? All right, this person might hum or be very musically inclined. They have a noticeable facial feature. I'm seeing like a nice jawline, maybe nice lips as well. They could be a fire sun, okay, and just have strong earth in their chart, earth and water. So they could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. And... This person may have recently lost a loved one. It can also be a pet and they have lighter skin. So this could be lighter than you. It could be lighter than their other family members or what's typical for their ethnic background. 
Okay, let's see. What else do my Geminis need to know about this tall, dark? I'm going to say tall, dark, and handsome, although, you know, my readings are not gender specific, so just take it as it resonates. For some of you, this will be tall, dark, and handsome. All right, clear messages, advice, and guidance, please. What else do my gems need to know about this person? Okay, you may meet this person online. They do have children, okay? And they might have a short hairstyle. But this person's laid back, they're relaxed, they're balanced, they're easygoing, all right? What they like about my Geminis here is the tower. So you're just going to shock and surprise this person. They're just going to be at all, in awe of you. And what you do, what you've done, they're also going to find you extremely beautiful or handsome. Yeah, okay. This person's going to see that you're their two of cups right away. This person's going to know right away is what I'm getting too, that you two are really compatible. Pay attention to the number sequence 333 coming out. But this person, yeah, this, this person... They may do, you might even like meet this person and you're seeing somebody else or maybe you're on a date with somebody else. Not for all of you are you going to meet them online is what I'm getting. But you might be having a date with someone else and this person just can't take their eyes off of you. Hanged man energy. This person, wow, this person just loves that that you've like that you're that I, I know some of you aren't going to don't like it when I say this, but like some of you are like they like that you're spiritual, they like that you're awakened. They like the way you see things. They, they, they like that you see things differently, that you do things differently. You're definitely very different than the other people they've been dating or they've been attracted to. Yeah, and for a lot of you, this is your divine masculine. And they could be an Aries sun as well because we do see that coming through possible fire sun. But the emperor energy... Yeah, this person, this person's divine masculine energy is what I'm getting. And if you identify more as the divine masculine, just swap that energy. But wow, Gemini, they like that you see things differently. They also like, they don't see you as like stuck in a rut that you've take, you've stepped into your own power to do things differently, either with your career or with your life. All right. You're, de you're definitely not run of the mill. We'll put it that way. And they really like that. They like your free spirited energy, your courage. They like that you're creative and you're compassionate, that you're a force to be reckoned with, Gemini. All right, what else? Yeah, see, look at this. This person is seeing you as the hero or the heroine here, that you have a passion for a journey of personal empowerment. That's what I was basically trying, but bumbling, <laughs> trying to get out. Yeah, because that's what I was seeing there with the hanged man and the three of cups in reverse. Like you do things differently than like your family. Maybe you came from like a like a more depressed socioeconomic background and you've really made something of yourself. Like they just really like that you didn't accept, accept your current circumstances. Some of you, you freed yourself from a toxic situation or, you know, marriage or something like that. They just like that you didn't just like accept what was given to you or what was handed to you. Like you, you're a go-getter. You do things for yourself. And yeah, they're seeing you as a pioneer. I am getting some of you meet this person traveling. Okay, like, it, and, and especially those of you who may be solo travelers, okay, like you might end up meeting this person that way because you have a passion for doing and creating what has not yet done before. What confirming messages here? And a lot of you, they, they just love that you've chosen to live your life on your terms. That's what I'm getting. And at the bottom of the deck, yeah, they see you as very strong. You provide strength and support to others who are maybe going through crisis. So that could be the nature of your career, of what you've chosen to do. But they just see you as somebody they can really rely on and that you act out of love with no expectation of reward. So they're basically seeing you as an earth angel here, Gemini. Beautiful, beautiful energy. So we have the high priestess. Mm. All right. So it's going to be a very spiritual, very intuitive, telepathic connection. All right, and we have go slow, take time getting to know each other. Yeah, you're going to be on the same page with the timeline of things. Stay in the energy of self-love and self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting, okay? 
and everything will unfold in divine timing. Be patient, Gemini. For some of you, this is a second chance. Maybe it's somebody you already know, but my intentions for these readings are that it's some completely brand new. So a lot of you, you may have had a past life with this person. Your soul remembers this intense connection, or it could be somebody you already know, but I'm not getting that for most of you. For most of you, I just feel there's this knowing this understanding that you've done this before, that you know this soul that mirrors your own, okay? So let's go ahead and see what final messages, advice, and guidance come through with for my Geminis here. Pay attention to the signs and the clues, synchronicities, especially repeating threes, okay? Time apart, a time of separation. You two might not live in the same place. They're like, there could be distance. Some of you I am getting, you're going to meet this person on vacation, on holiday, traveling, or when you're not at home. So maybe you're just visiting some friends or something, and it's a little bit of ways away. But um, a time of separation, or maybe this person travels a lot for work, or you do. So I do feel like there's a little bit of a, oh no, we have to separate, or we won't be able to see each other as frequently. But this is a lasting love, Gemini. This is your true love. And some of you, you're going to meet through work. Or more, more so with this card in particular, a common cause connection is just like the third card for me that says you two are extremely compatible. It's like you're too compatible to let this go for this to not work out. And I feel like you're both going to be kind of at ease with like whatever's happening. Yeah, like you're, you both, I feel like you two are very similar in a lot of ways. Okay, let's see. Important dates here for my Geminis, please. Important dates for my Geminis, please. So we get December. Some of you, you'll meet this person in December. For others of you, they may have a December birthday. We did see they possibly have fire in their chart, so they could be a Sag. Some of you are going to meet them in August, but just is showing me anywhere between August and December, you're going to be meeting this person or this connection is going to be really taking off. All right, my dear Geminis, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Geminis. Take care.